In this tutorial, we're gonna teach you a little bit more than the basics of tripods. We all know what a general tripod looks like and how to use it, but this goes beyond that. All right, everybody, so here we are, just going over the basics of tripods. Here is one of the, the basic tripods that we have in the class. Uh, it has three legs, hence a tripod, right? And it has some adjustments on each leg. These little flip switches allow you to control the length of your legs to give you a nice, even, um, preferably level shot, depending on what kind of shot you're looking for. Uh, it gives you lots of variation. You can go one leg down, all of them down, various different heights. Also on top, it has a quick release shutter here so that you can pop your camera on and off uh, very easily and efficiently. Uh, usually I recommend that the handle grip here is in line with your lens so that your camera will seat on there properly and you're able to move the camera pan left to right and tilt up and down in a nice fluid motion. Further to that, we're going to get into some more advanced techniques and ways that we can use this tripod in a more creative way other than just your basic pan tilt. So this first camera skill that we're going to talk about is kind of a, we'll call it the two legs, in, two legs out, one leg in uh, setup. Uh, what it does is it gives you a Dutch angle as you kind of pan past whatever your object is. So in this case, I'll just pop this on. Uh, we'll show you what the footage of this shot actually looks like so that you can see. Uh, but it, it allows you some control, keeps the camera nice and steady as you're moving because the two legs are still on the ground. But it gives you that kind of product shot uh, look as you're going past the object. You wouldn't use this for a very wide angle or a long shot because you're not going to see the motion very well. It's more of a medium close-up or a close-up shot that this would be the best for. The next kind of sort of advanced setup would be uh, adding some kind of a dolly to your shot. If you wanted to do a dolly shot or a tracking shot or any kind of movement shot where you want it to be nice and smooth, you're going to want to use a proper dolly. It allows the tripod, which is normally a stationary object, to be moved around the room so you can get that advanced feature for your scene. They tend to be a little bit tricky to set up. First thing first, you're going to need a dolly. On the bottom of these dollies, there is a locking pin nut here. It only goes one way. If it's not all the way down, you'll notice that there's a gap and it won't tighten up properly. So you have to find the angle where it fits and seats properly down. And then when you tighten this nut, these legs no longer move and they stay rigid and they don't bounce too much. Make sure that it's nice and tight so that when you set it on the ground, these wheels should pivot and move freely so you don't have any issues here. The second setup part is simply just adjusting the legs of the tripod to fit with on this. Now obviously that's not going to work, right? We need to make this a lot longer and match it up to the corners of this dolly. We can leave it like that. Essentially, this is our dolly, but it's probably going to fall off. So we've got these convenient little rubber holders that you would just pull and pop onto there. If one of them breaks or falls off when you're out in the field, grab a hair elastic, get some duct tape, do whatever it takes to hold these legs in place so that you have a nice stable shot that you can set up for doing any kinds of advanced dolly shots or tracking shot depending on what you're doing. One variation of the standard dolly tracking shot, uh, because this is so wide, it forces you to have a really high camera. So a little trick is uh, obviously being very safe to make sure that you don't drop the camera is you can invert this tripod and actually slide it in from the bottom. Make sure that this gets at least flush with the top so that it has some tension on it and make sure before you let go of the camera that you're holding the strap, make sure everything's tight, you're good to go so there's no issues. Now 
you can do the same kind of dolly shot you would before, but now you're getting it much lower, closer to the height of, say, a product on a chair or somebody sitting in the hallway up against the wall. This is going to be much closer to the right height of those people. The trick is, in post-production, you're going to have to take this footage and flip it over. So keep that in mind when you're filming it. If you need to pan from left to right, you're going to actually have to invert the direction that you're moving so that you filmed it from right to left. When you flip it over, it will look like you went from left to right down the scene. So keep that in mind. It's a little bit of a tricky advanced setup, but definitely it gets it down lower for you. A little easier to control, nice smooth shot. Should be some fun. Love to see what you come up with. One other like cool effect that you can do with dollies is they allow you to give that implied continuous shot. Uh, because you're not holding the camera, you're not going to get tired, you're going to be able to move around and follow that subject, but there are times where you might need to do like a hidden cut or kind of a match cut where you want them to disappear and you need to make sure that you set that up properly and it might take you a few tries to test the shot and to test where you're going to roll the camera and to test how high it is and all the different setup associated with. We did a little test shot here where we're going to roll from right to left here and as it passes in front of this chair, the, the chair will momentarily block our view of the helmet over there and we can kind of magically make that helmet disappear. In our class, uh, some of the tips that work really well with our tripods is that we have a lot of photography tripods. They're set up for photography. They don't have a fluid head. So for doing a nice pan left to right, if you're not careful, you're going to get very jerky shots. So a cool trick is to take some elastics and you kind of link them together and it gives you a bit of a, a stretchy compression so that assuming your tripod, we've got the top part loose so that it just pivots nice and smooth on top here, but our head itself, we've registered it where we want it to be. So that's tight and it's not gonna move tilt up and down, it's just gonna pan left to right. Now if you're not smooth and you have a bit of a jerky hand, what's a cool tip is you can take these elastics, loop them around the handle here, and now as you pull your pan, it gets a much smoother, Pan because it absorbs some of the jerkiness of your hand. So hopefully you've learned a few things about tripods, some cool tips and tricks for you to use to make your videos just that much smoother, cleaner, and uh, overall give that more professional look. Obviously there's lots of things you can do in post-production to stabilize, to clean them up, to flip them, various different techniques that we'll learn there as well. But generally, a tripod is your best friend when doing video because it keeps things nice and steady and hopefully you can be lots, hopefully you can be very creative and have lots of fun with it.